Good morning, welcome to an Easy Trader update. This is Kim Watson speaking on uh, Tuesday, the 4th of August. Okay, looking at the euro dollar first, and as you can see, uh, well, yesterday we ended up pretty much with an inside bar. There is the potential that we could uh, move up. We still haven't caught the monthly pivot. Uh, there's a potential that we could push up towards that uh, today. Currently, uh, on the four hourly chart, uh, we're looking at potential pivot swing there, which is if that uh, fulfills, we break the top of that, it uh, would possibly lead us up to, as I say, that uh, that monthly pivot and there's weekly pivot there as well. So could well move us into that region. There is a reasonable probability of that being hit. Now, side of that looking down I mean we are still drifting down in a, a downward trend here we've already hit the daily pivot so that and we've almost hit the uh, daily s1 already it's uh, not the best of days in terms of I mean it was so choppy yesterday I say choppy but it barely moved in any sort of uh, direction for very long uh, so relatively choppy yesterday it at the moment it looks relatively weak and you would almost be looking for the break of the lows it may even run down towards the S2 area, uh, but uh, at the moment, as I say, is if it does hold on to its gains and starts pushing through, maybe needs to break this trend line I've drawn on here, it could head up then towards the uh, the uh, pivots. Okay, that's the uh, Euro um, cable. Cable's even more choppier from a uh, end of day basis. It's uh, or daily basis. It's been in a very very tight range as you can see here. There's no real change here, but a four hourly. Well, we're putting in a game. We're putting in a potential pivot swing, which could see us uh, push on further. Already a good distance after yesterday's relatively smaller range. A uh, good distance up towards its R1 sort of area. Could be a, a possible break of these highs later, uh, which we'll see just finishing this move off, moving back up towards R1 and maybe beyond. At the moment, it's, uh, as I say, quite tight. We've just seen a bit of a retrace in the shorter time frame, uh, in the shorter time frames, but uh, there's the momentum with it and the, it looks like it may, I mean, it's, if it can break this uh, reason, uh, yesterday's intraday high, uh, high there, we may just. Um, or afternoon high should I say it may just push on and and break upwards okay and then uh, what is the, uh, the um, dollar yen again it's really another consolidating market now um, what we're looking at here is the weekly pivot below untouched uh, very close by and then there's the monthly pivot which uh, any strength in uh, the markets and a uh, weakness in the US dollar again could see this running towards that sort of uh, area um, there is a almost a decent trend line running across the lows here it's possibly one of the less reliable ones to uh, uh, move down accordingly but um, any any sort of sustained sell-off here as I say w w I'd be looking at the potential for the um, daily pivot to be touched one thing we're seeing here uh, sorry monthly pivot one thing we're seeing here is, is a reduction continued reduction in the average true range on a daily basis and this is reflected in the relatively well obviously a tiny uh, by the tiny ranges intraday range yesterday's range only moved what was that around about just over 40 pips uh, 42 pips all day long so um, it's uh, bit of a slow a slow one that one a slow burner so we'll be watching that too much today Aussie dollar uh, news uh, good retail sales and a, a little bit less um, bearish uh, commentary uh, from the Reserve Bank of Australia saw the uh, seen the Aussie uh, having a bit of rallies could uh, lead up towards its uh, monthly pivot this morning or today um, Possibly a little bit overbought on some time frames at the moment, but any sort of retrace uh, may see it reverse back. It's already through its monthly S3, L3 rather. So it's uh, getting quite stretched, but the pivots are very pinched anyway. So yesterday's very tight range. So um, may maybe we could see that monthly pivot being hit. I would possibly look at shorting that as a, I'll have a look at it at the time, nearer the time if it does it. I may be looking at selling into that sort of level if it does reach there. 
Okay, um, that's it for me. News-wise today, we've got some news still to come out. We've got the construction PMI in the UK at 9.30. Sl still get to run about 20 pip moves on this. It's, it's slightly lower than the normal. The other PMI figures and services coming out tomorrow, um, more important. Um, and uh, in the afternoon, that's around about yeah, actually, is there's some factory orders, etc., from the US at three o'clock, which we could give us blips. We've seen more bigger moves from these lately as they're uh, being released, so we could get a blip around the three o'clock. And when I, um, when I say blip, 15 pips, 10 pips, something in that region, possibly if the figures come out particularly good, we may see it all bad, we may see a bit, bit more of a move from that. Okay, um, that's it for me. Hope you have a great one. Uh, if you, oh sorry, I should say, if you follow the New Zealand dollar, um, then uh, at eleven forty-five you've got the uh, employment figures coming out this evening. So if you're up at that time, there's uh, some f figures to follow. Right, um, have a great day. Bye for now.